Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. And today I wanna to show you how to make this little um, envelope thingy that I made last night when I couldn't sleep and uh, I was trying to come up with stuff um, to put in my new journal that I'm working on. Um, it's a summer journal, but uh, I got these pages from a map book from my friend Julie Torrance who's also on YouTube. And so like, this is the size of the book, basically. I hope you can see that entire thing, right? So this is whew, about 14 and a half inches, almost 15 inches, about 14 and a half inches by 11 inches. So this is a big piece of paper. Um, so I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with it. And I decided to make a little ephemera folio that um, was, you know, male themed. So it looks like an envelope, right? And it's got this uh, closure here. It's just a paper clip I made, a hidden paper clip. And then it opens like such. And so you've got a spot here to write and some just details there. And you open it up and you've got your two pockets for ephemera. So this bottom part is folded up, glued in the middle. And I just took some scrap and made two little pockets for some tickets. And then we have our journal card, a playing card, and that's it. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I made that today. Okay. And let's put this back. These are um, Tim Holtz type chips. They're called T-Y-P-E chips. And they are um, yeah, available wherever you can get your, your Tim Holtz goodies. And they're basically the letters of from the typewriter. Um, they're made to look like a typewriter, right? Okay, so we're gonna, we'll make that in a second. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna ahead and make that first because I want the glue to dry in time for us to finish. Okay. So I hope everybody is doing very well today. Um, things are good here. The weather's beautiful. Uh, I've just been very busy, um, just trying to get some stuff done, trying to work on this journal that um, I'm not doing this journal on camera, mainly because I wanted to work on something that's just, that I just work on and not worry about, um, does it look good on camera and then, and then editing and then, you know, it, it takes a lot out of me. So. I decided this was just gonna be a, um, just a, a journal that I work on. I'll eventually show you, I'll do a flip through, but for right now, it's, it's not something I'm gonna work on. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got, um, this is just like a little label that comes with some uh, Tim Holtz ephemera. And then this is the type chip. So I'm going to take, uh, I've got some Fabrifix glue paper clip and on this side I'm going to put the large part of the paper clip on the outside of that and on the back I'm going to get some glue down now this is just going to be like an insert to go in a journal um, it's not going to be sewn into the journal so not uh, not worry too much about like bulk and stuff because you know you can pull it out and it's easy as this just hold it together for a second let that glue you know really come in contact with the metal and the and the paper now if I chose one that's narrow enough where it shouldn't show but if it does I'll just trim around it once it's dry um, but yeah, so the little, this is our closure. Leave that there. That's done. <clears throat> Apologize for any background noise. I, it's, it's warm out and I do have the windows open because it's, it's not warm enough for air conditioning, but, um, it's warm enough where the windows can be open and get some fresh air. Okay. So from that large piece of paper, I cut out a, I got a square, and then I ended up with a strip, uh, 
a little longer than this. All right. So let's do that. And <clears throat> I should have said that I coffee dyed these yesterday. All I did was uh, I just sprayed them with a mixture of, um, you know, instant coffee and water. Just dyed it, set them on the porch, and they dried. So then we're going to take this and form a triangle. And you're going to line up your edges as best you can. Come with your bone folder and straighten that out. And then um, I just went ahead and took my ruler and ripped this, uh, this side off. Ta-da, ta-da. I'm just going to trim this a little bit here, like just hold the ruler down and get these little bitsy bits. Oh, and I ripped it. That's okay. No worries. Yeah, no big deal. It's supposed to be like, you know, old and stuff and grungy. So, um, so I'm just going to set this up here over to the side so I can look at it. I can see you. You, you can't see it, but I can see it. And then you're going to fold it. Actually, you're going to open it. Let's fold it again. And this time, we're going to go the opposite way. And we open it up. And we've got um, four triangles. And then... This part, we can fold up and make the, this can be our pockets, okay? So you fold that up, and then this part, fold down to the middle. That's just gonna be the flap that'll open up. All right? So if we fold this, we should have, might add a little more, but let's see, let's see. I think we can back it up just a little bit. I want to make this even. Should be even. That's that's how I did it last night. So I did this. And just kind of just fold it till you get it right. Right? A little bit more, a little bit more. Problem is I don't have the tip on that end, so I don't know where to, to take it down. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, so. Then we're going to take this side, and fold that down. And the paper kind of tells you where to fold so you're not butting up against your corners. This is not perfect envelope. This is just a folded piece of paper glued in like two spots or actually it's only glued in one spot i think okay so this is gonna be the flap that opens this is your main envelope flap and doohickey thing right these open out this is your pocket now i'm gonna fold like i said we keep this folded up and then i want to glue right down here onto here but first you can ink it. I'm not gonna go through that because you know, you probably know how to ink and basically what I did was I just took my um, the distress ink in the vintage photo and just went all around it, all the edges, you know, so edge, you know, best I could. I mean, it's pretty grunged up now that it's got the, um, the coffee dye on it. Let me just kind of darken up these little white bits. I didn't get too much coffee on them. Okay, you know how to ink, so we don't have to waste time with that. So, I'm gonna take my glue and just run a little bead up one side of the line and then the other side of the line. Well, I should have left space, but that's, it's okay. As, as long as you've got two pockets here, we're good to go. And then on this side, on the right side, I glued down some, some paper for journaling. Journaling. Oh, that's just some scrap um, 
This is, what kind of paper is this? This is avocado dyed. I haven't made it in a while, so this is old, but it's still good. So I'm just gonna try and just come along and trim the paper to fit the triangle. And like I said, I'm not being exact. This is just, it's supposed to be a vintage looking sort of envelope folio thing. Just a little bit up. And, you know, just have fun with it. Make it your own. And then, um, in front of me, I have a selection of um, tickets and stamps. Um, I have some butterflies. Um, some other stickers. So we'll do some stamping on it. Yeah. Now, this would look cute if you want to do it with lined paper. You could do it with... Um, a pattern paper, if you so desire. And get my glue stick. I'm using my Yoohoo today. I haven't been able to get um, any of the 3M glue sticks on line like I usually do. So I'm sticking with the Yoohoo and it's working pretty well. So yeah, Julie Torres was nice enough to send me some um, map pages uh, from her book that she got at a thrift store. And then she also sent me um, some of these back pages that are just, they're like the index, right? And I was like, oh, what am I going to do with these? But it's, it's nice, if you, feel, if you hear that, it's got a nice thickness to it. So I said, I'm coffee dyed. I need some coffee dyed stuff. And it was nice out yesterday, you know. Sat out on the back porch, did my um, spraying out there, and then just let them sit on the porch. They dry pretty quickly out there. Just gonna tear that bit off. So see, pretty simple, pretty easy, and let me just get a tag as an example. Or, yeah, so we'll put a tag in here, and then I don't know if this one will fit. This one may fit, yeah. It just fits. So, you see, it goes like this. Okay. This goes like that. Fold it up. And then this goes down. And then you put your closure on it. This is the one we made for the other one. Come on. And that's it, right? So, let's just continue decorating with a little little fun crafting today and um, for the other one I did little pockets here I just took some of the scrap and made little tiny pockets so you've got little extra pockets for uh, your, your skinny tickets or skinny tag or just whatever you want to throw in there and so I'm gonna trim this I don't need this super huge ruler. Let me get the small one. There we go. And you notice there's no measuring, so. Even better. Okay, so. Roughly, let's see. It can go this high. Over here, make it a little wider. The other ones I did, I think a little narrow, but yeah. I'll make these a little bigger. Okay. And then last night I was sitting here, like looking at this sheet of paper, going, What am I going to do with you? And I just kind of came up with this. I'm sure someone else has done it before, but. But that's how it goes in this world, right? In the crafting world. Not too many brand spanking new things going on. And really, it's okay. That's cool. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna take this one and just make two pockets. Out of that. So here, I'm gonna ink them up so you can see them better once I lay them down or glue them down. 
Oops, sorry if I'm shaking that. I don't know why it's shaking because it shouldn't shake the camera. Oh well. Then we'll take this side and, um, or this piece, and we'll put it on this left side. You know what it is? I have a carousel up here, a little lazy Susan, with my um, acrylic paints. So it's kind of. That's being a little poopy head, making noise and stuff and shaking. Okay, glue, here's my glitter glue. And I'm just using a um, art glitter glue, it's the name, it's not what's inside. This is just a, um, it's a crafter's glue that dries clear, water-based, permanent, which we love. And let's just go down the sides here. And so yeah, these you know cute little pockets you could put like other bits and fun stuff for for the receiver to um, play around with. And oh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the channel has hit over 1,200 followers at this point. So um, I wanna have a special giveaway soon. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna give away and how I'm gonna do it. Um, so yeah, that'll be exciting. I'm, I'm very excited, I'm very appreciative too. You guys rock. And I don't know if you watched my last video, which was a video part of um, the PM Artist Studio Hop. But that video is awesome, if I do say so myself. And um, it's a short video just going over um, a project I made for the collaboration for June, Old is New. And um, it's about, it's less than six minutes. So it's a quick, it's a quick watch, but um, I encourage you to watch it. It's got a good message to it. So we've got little pockets there. And then what I did with the tip here is I just uh, grab a corner rounder. I think I even gave it a 10 or a 7. I think it was a 10. It's the largest part. This is a three hole or a three corner rounder. You got four, seven, ten. So obviously 10's the largest. Let's go with it. There we go. Yeah. I just wanna get this closed. I want to give it a nice um, smoothing out with the bone folder so it stays flat. This is a must-have. You should definitely get one of these if you're doing like paper crafts and stuff like this and making journals or making, you know, things with paper because it comes really handy. It gets everything nice and crisp and straight for you. So, they're not they're not expensive. You can find. I thought. I think I got that one for like six bucks on Amazon. It's it's heavy, which is good. So that's what's going to be our envelope. And here's our closure. It's almost dry. Yeah. So I'm not going to mess with it. Let's leave that. Let's let that dry. And then the other thing I did was um, before I started adding any decoration. Um, I went around and just, you know, gave it some more inking. Close my glues. Just to give it that more of a grungy, been around the world kind of look. And for that, I just use a little brush. This is the um, Rangers Archival Ink in Library Green. And just kind of go around and hit it in certain spots. Maybe got a little, little water damaged, a little moldy. Don't forget the back. 
And that's good. To, this is good to fill up in these, um, you know, sometimes when you spray coffee dye on paper and you don't get every single spot, you can use this to fill it in. Okay, I'm going to take a little blue. I'm going to do with the blue. I didn't do blue on the last one, but I see that in the corner of my eye. It's like, yeah, let me get some of that in there. Just here and there. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. It's your fault. <laughs> Alright, so let's start decorating. Keep going in the front. So I kind of just started on this um on the the, the the envelope where you open it, right? Um so you could either, you know, decorate it the horizontal way or the long way, whichever. Let's um, let's just go for it. Here, my little box of goodies. I've got all sorts of uh, tickets and stamps. I have uh, this little calling card. This is best wishes. Not the non, but we'll grunge it up, you know. This is actually a real, um, I want to say this is a cigarette card from way back when. It is um, a series of 50, number 16, the history of aviation. And what's it say down here? Card ish, cards issued. It's a tea card, not a coffee card, sorry. Or did I say cigarette cards? Those are, those are a thing too, cigarette cards, but uh, cards issued with all... Brook Bond tea and tea bag. So Brook Bond, this was in, I believe, London, Croydon. Yep. Brookie, Brook Bond Oxo Limited. Huh. That's cool, right? Let me see if it fits in one of these. I should have checked that. Oh yeah, here we go. I'll keep that in there for now. All right, so maybe we'll do, let's do one of these butterflies here. If I can get my fingers on them. Slippery suckers, you know. Need a big one. Yeah, we'll do this one on here, right smack in the middle, why not? And I wanna just darken the edges up a little bit. I'm not gonna trim off this white edge. Normally I would trim off that more opaque. I don't think you need it. Let's see if I can get this on the first go. Come on. Did we do it? Did we do it? No. I know Julie uses a pen, but I know I'd stab myself. I'm not that patient. Fifty years later, Eddie still couldn't get it open. There we go. Got it. I got it. Oh, I just had it. There we go. Uh. And lay you down. And what else we're we gonna put on here? So I just basically just started. Slapping down some uh, stamps and um, other little labels I had. Laying in here. Because I got to use up some of the labels and some of my little ephemera bits here that's just, you know, collecting dust. Put the 60 here. And then I have these um, faux stamps that I made in a previous video. I thought we could use some of those. And then I got these tickets and all sorts of good stuff. Let's see, let's get one of these faux stamps on here. It's inked up well. All right. Just gonna go at an angle there, I don't care. I think it's more fun that way. Just looks like, you know, person's traveling and they're always, you know, in a rush and Going through a busy place and just get stamped. I don't know. 
I'm making stuff up now. And so, I mean, you could even push it up a little more, fold it over the edge. No, not bad. There's one. How about, what do I have here? Got a couple of stamps. Do I have a single stamp? Well, where are my single stamps at? Here we go. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is a Denmark stamp. It's not real, it's just a, something I printed out. I know some, uh, there's some folks out there on YouTube who have tons of vintage old stamps and they've got them really pretty in a book all colorized. That would last five seconds here. Cause I kind of just like to grab and go and throw and you know. Think about it later and just layer stuff on. I'm not too worried about, you know, composition or anything like that. I've got a little red bit there. Hmm. We've got airmail. Now, I want to keep in mind, I'm going to do my little clip here, the closure here. So maybe. Let's go start on this side here. This is the front. This is where your address label would be, right? If we were to have an address label. But instead, I found this. Um, this is a Tim Holtz ephemera. It's just a little um, piece of airmail. So I thought I could put that on there. Get a dirty. I think we could just do this with the, the glue stick. It's on a cardstock, but it's not super heavy. Don't run away. Um, you know what? We can just put this at an angle. Because it's not really like a letter letter you're mailing. It's just, it's for fun. It's not real. Do this one here and then now if I open it easier to flatten out Oops. Could do this one over here and the arrived showing okay, this flap open. so I'm gonna go ahead glue that down there see this is pretty you know just straightforward but i just thought it was fun and wanted to use up like i said a bunch of the stuff that i have sitting around and um i've been working on the journal and kind of just doing basic stuff nothing you know i'm just trying to get pages together i have there's like nothing sewn in so i would love to do a video where I'm sewing in the signatures and um, I can show you how I do that and um, then I could do a video where I'll flip through so you can see what I've done it's mainly it's it's a book that's mainly gonna feature my artwork um, and then some other stuff thrown in there but it's mainly like you know stuff I've made so that'll be fun. Um, what else we got here? We got some money. Let's throw some money on there. Why not? Make it rain, make it rain. Throw some glitter, make it rain. There we go. Get some more stamps. Stamp stamps. Do I have some more stamp stamps? I think they're in this side, buddy. Yeah. No, I think I had a green one, a big green one. It's cool. I've got this little one, but yeah. that's cool. A little washi with some. Yeah, let's use that. See, that one came up in two seconds. Eh. What are you gonna do? Huh? Put this one on the inside down here. I think that would be good. 
good spot for that. And just darken that up, and that kind of blends in in the back. It's no biggie. Oh, here's another Stampy. That's a good one. I don't know where this is from. Yeah, it's hard to see. I printed these out a while ago, but. Now, I encourage you to watch the video where I made these faux stamps. Um, I don't know if you jelly print or you paint or whatever, but when I jelly print, I have what's called a brayer off sheet on the side to clean off my brayer after I put the paint on my gel plate. And then those papers I save because a lot of times they're pretty cool. So... What I did is I took some brayer sheets that had some cool coloring on it, and then I cut them into strips and then put all sorts of stamps and, you know, ink stamps and all kinds of stuff on it and um, cut them out with some postal scissors, you know, those little craft scissors like this. But that one was, the one I used was like postal. This is a squiggly line. Um, yeah, so you can do that. So watch the video on that and you can learn how to make those easy peasy if you don't have like painted papers make your own you can paint your papers with some acrylic you could do watercolor that's fun easy um color pencil that's all you got all right let's just that's good right yeah and this is um a label that i got I want to get this right. I believe it's from Tracy Fox, yes, on Etsy. And um, these are printed on sticker paper, so. Da, 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 da. You gotta sing to it to get it to release, I think. Maybe that's the key. All right, put it there. And let's see what else we got in a little box of goodies. I'm gonna have tickets. Oh, there's like a, a USA stamp there. Yeah. When they were 44 cents. I don't even know what they're up to now. I just, they're nuts. The prices are too high. See, I'm just randomly just sticking stuff down. I think that's how you get a better better look maybe that was it you know when it's not too planned all right i'm gonna take a little sip of soda okay maybe something down here what do i have that's long. oh i thought i had an airmail one do i have that there was one i think it's under here somewhere yeah, there it is. Via Airman. I'll put that under there. Okay. And this one just glue stick. It's a bit of card, but it's not thick. It's like that uh like that one there. travel sticker. I just made those printed off on the computer. Um, if I had scissors, I'd be dangerous. There we go. I'm just going to trim around that. Again, it's on sticker paper. But I just want to trim, get some, get the white off. And then it'll ink up nicely. This is a, a, a good tip too, is if you're doing, you know, a lot of journal making or ephemera making, um, 
these are things you can make ahead and have in in in, um, in your little containers and have them ready to go. Um, so when you're decorating, you just gotta pull them out. You don't have to worry about making them each time. You know what I mean? They call that being proactive. I think. <laughs> Okay, we're going to fold that bit up right there. Just fold it over. Yeah. Not the best fold, but you know what? It'll work for me. You can even darken that edge a little bit. Okay, and so then what did I do with this one here? I'll just like that, just like that. Yeah, so I decorated in here too. Let's go for it. What do we got in here? Some of this, it's got a big stamp. Watho stamp. We'll do one there. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of inking. It's not gonna really show up a lot, just a little bit, because it's it's dark. Darker, but that's okay. You don't even have to distress ink these. You can make this, you know, without all the inks and stuff and just make it, you know. You know, just the way you want. Put that one there. Glue, 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 glue. hand here, a little pointy finger. You can point it there, right? Open there. Yeah, we'll put them right there. That's a good spot. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I think this is also a Tim Holtz um, little piece. You know, you get those ephemera packs and there's like all kinds of stuff in them. And I think this was one of them. kind of goes, yeah, there we go. Now this is the actual ticket, but we can put this one in there. That'll be cool, okay. I like that better. Just grunge it up. Yeah, you can see they're from scrapebles, but that's okay. Cool. So back to this part. And I'm looking for something that's gonna contrast against the paper. Oh, here's a nice one. This is a Isle of Man stamp. It's only a half P. I'm assuming that's super cheap compared to today's prices. I don't think it has a year. And if it does, it's written so tiny, I wouldn't be able to see it, even with my glasses. Get a new page here. I don't want to muck up the, the fronts of the stamps or, you know, the other stuff I'm putting down. I like this Yoohoo glue too because it gives you a second to reposition if you need to or you know kind of push it around 
And this one doesn't want to stay down. I see you. I don't know where I got this, but it's it's the date. Sabat Sabato Febrayo. Febrayo. I don't know what language that is. I think it's Italian. Or February, Saturday, February the twentieth. I want to cut it. There we go. I want to rip it. Get a little ripping going there. And it's just paper, guys. It's okay. Just paper. Maybe something here. something there fold it over I guess we could fold something else over there too What's this? It's a sort of sort of cancel check maybe that's too big I think I got one of these red labels Maybe that's too big. Let's go back in this side here. See, this is why I can't organize everything like by color and stuff, because I just kind of throw stuff around and pick up and put back down. Guy's had it in his pocket for a while. Tumble! All right, let's get a little glue on this guy. side I had one over here it's super cute it's green with uh, um, some gold so all right here we'll see right on the first one down she goes Something here. Maybe a tiny little sticker. How about that? some stamps like you know just stampy kind that you put down with ink so here it's not loose this one goes with my original one 
that is for this one. And our stamps. Here we are. I've got a couple of different things here. Oh, you know what I stamped on the other side? On this part here, I did this um, just a note stamp. I think this, that was cute. Just a note. We'll do, let's do red. This is the vermilion. Helpful idea if you put it right side up. And that's it, just a note. And then I had this little B. You can do a little B on there. Maybe the B is blue. Why are you blue, B? Now I'm not using anything under this because the silicone mat that I have under here is pretty cushiony. So that is why. And then I took some, you know, just typical postage type stamps that I'm sure a lot of you have. And if you don't, they're readily available on places like Amazon or, you know, wherever you get your rubber stamps or your silicone stamps. So this is a circular one. Let's put that here. We could put that in here. Just to use up that ink, you know. Now let's go to the front. Here. Go to the flap. Maybe do one. Do here. The one with the lines, it's always good. Come to front here. And then just, you know, a little bit here and there. Kind of shows it's been through the system. airmail one need a bigger block but I'm not gonna worry about that get the airmail in red or vermilion and maybe we'll do that right there do, that. do it inside too just use some of that ink okay. and that's pretty much it guys put in some tags. For this one, I'm gonna do actually journal cards. Got my roses, and these are just back with coffee dyed paper. Put them in there. Okay, and so this, I like this because it gives you room where you can put a tall tag in. So we've got, I forgot we had these. This is the textured one. And then we have this one. All right. And close it up. And it goes this way. And got your little hidden clip. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's super fun, super easy. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Thanks.